chapter 8. In Mark, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5 shows us uh, the incredible shredding of humanity. You must listen. If you're going to deal with voices in the head, spirits, dark spirits, if you're going to come to realize, uh, maybe even in your own life, whatever kind of influence they brought, um, the issue is this. When Jesus arrived, he immediately, by his sheer presence, exposed them, and they began to kick them out and, and demonstrate sheer authority and, and demonstrate the clash of those kingdoms. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now before we go into all the, the studies on this. That we're dealing with days now, even in 1 John chapter 1. If you've read there, you've read that this is how we know it's the last hour. That many antichrists have gone out. Many who would be led by false spirits claiming to be a Christ or the Christ. Many uh, cult groups, Sun, Young, Moon, and many, many others like that will claim that. And also the Antichrist, which is the in, the counterfeit incarnation, the most uh, probably the, the the most powerful satanic manifestation in human history, uh, will is right at the we're we're right at the door, and the Bible predicted in in Timothy chapter four verse one, the Spirit of God. Now listen, especially if a New Ager, a Luciferian, and others get a hold of this, if you understand spirits. It's, and spirits influencing and contacting spirits or spirits in your life, then please understand something else. There is also the Spirit of the Sovereign God, uh, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord. He is the infinite, eternal Spirit. He is God, the Holy Spirit. He dwells in me as a believer in Christ. He's promised to everyone who believe on Jesus. All who receive Christ will be given the gift of God, the Holy Spirit. We originally were created, if you read Genesis chapter 1 and 2, you're going to find out that we were created, God breathed into us the breath of life. Literally, the Spirit uh, was breathed into us the breath of life. But in the fall of the human race, we became dead uh, to God, dead to the Spirit of God. Not that He has not been striving with humanity. Read Genesis 6. Not that He's not been operating and working. The Word of God from beginning to end. The most incredible book in human history. And uh, I would challenge those who don't read to read because this is a book that God used, the Holy Spirit used, 40 different writers with three different language backgrounds from three separate continents over a period of 1,600 years, basically, to bring about what we have now as the living words of God. Literally, the Spirit of God animates the Word. When you read the Word of God, the Spirit of God is speaking out. The Bible would consider, in the book of Hebrews, read it, when the writer quotes, and the Holy Spirit says. Every verse, can be. you can say the same thing, and the Holy Spirit says. So I want to introduce you to God the Holy Spirit, person, God, uh, co-equal with the Father and Son, there in the beginning of creation, there in Old Testament Israel, there causing the conception of uh, the Virgin Mary, of God in human flesh, of Christ. And uh, even Jesus, uh, representing humanity, the Bible teaches us that the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord came upon Him. And uh, you can read in Luke chapter 5, and you can see where the power of the Lord, the Spirit of God, was present to heal the sick. So, I want to introduce you. Listen, if you're a believer in Christ, the Spirit of God lives in you. If you've been filled with the Holy Spirit, you know the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. If you're a New Ager or someone else out there, I'm telling you right now, the Spirit of God has probably led you to listen to this today. The Spirit of God is in the world today since the day of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, His ascension and exaltation back into heaven, since that time, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit has been, He has been poured out of the, to the whole world with, with the ministry, with the job of, um, of finding us and drawing us and leading us to the message of Christ. So I'm going to tell you right now, the Spirit of God, if, you're if you want spirituality, if you want the Spirit, if you want the Spirit, um, then open up to God. 
open up to God and listen to the Spirit of God, you can do that by opening the Word of God and just saying, Spirit of the Sovereign God, speak to me. And, and begin to read and watch the supernatural interaction. Let alone the fact that He probably guided you. And that He is doing all that He is supposed to do and will do to lead you to Jesus Christ. That's part of the convicting, convincing, drawing, calling, pulling on you. And so don't, don't insult the Spirit of God. Don't throw down the work of the Holy Spirit. He is really your friend, regardless of who you are. If you're somebody who knows that you've had deliverance already, you've had spirits in you, you've had finite dark spirits, let me tell you the difference. We were made for the Spirit of God. We were not made for demons. The Spirit of God is for us. And uh, He is to dwell in us and His presence is to be with us. Uh, not demons. It's an intrusion when dark, finite spirits attach to, speak into, and even possess uh, human, human bodies and human souls. And uh, they're, they're like a, you know what I, li I liken them to? A splinter, a large wooden splinter in the skin stuck in there, and uh, they will become painful. Now listen, I know that there are many different occultists and others, especially uh, Satanists and Luciferians, that conjure demons, conjure spirits. And you literally befriend them in a way, though you're following the precise rituals that they have given. You're literally following them. They're not following you. You don't have them. If you've invited them in, and they've come in, they have you. And I've yet to see uh, Satanists and others get rid of those power demons. Well, I'm going to go over some of the things because so many have written me, so many have asked. What I'm doing here is giving you a basic outline of how to break free from dark spirits. And I would urge you, if you're a Christian, or especially if you don't know Jesus, I'm going to tell you that He came. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you, uh, listen, this is, what, this is a one verse of the Word of God. I want you to hear this. It's very important. In the book of 1 John, you can pick up a Bible, go on the net, and read it yourself. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, it says this, The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. If you read that Gospel of Mark, you will see where the demons were just literally exposed to what they really are, and, uh, and they were literally ousted, kicked out of lives. In the book of James, in the Bible, you'll read where it says, At the name of Je Jesus Christ, at the name of Jesus, demons shudder. They tremble in fear. Both in the Word of God and my experience with demons and dealing with deliverance with people, demons clearly know who Jesus is. He is the Savior, the Son of God, Lord. He is God in human flesh. They know this. You can read about it in the book of Acts where a demon spoke through a human being and said, Jesus I know. And the apostle Paul, he also said, Paul I know, because he's a believer. But who are you? Referring to unsaved, those who did not have the Spirit of God, the authority of Christ. And uh, literally the demon used that human body to attack those, um, those who were trying to use Jesus in a wrong way. So really there's a warning for even... New Agers and others who try to use the name of Jesus in a magical way. Um, if you don't know Him, you cannot use His name. Now, here's what the Bible says about His name. It's really neat. That there is no other name given to men, under, you know, given, uh, to men by which we must be saved but the name Jesus Christ. In the book of Acts, the declaration of the early disciples... No other name given out of heaven among men but the name Jesus. That's why the Bible says, Who's, now listen, this is a word of faith. This is, this is a word of God, and you may need this if you don't know Him yet. This is, a, this is an incredible invitation that whosoever calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. If you don't know Him, you can call the name of Jesus Christ who died, was buried, rose from the dead, lives right now, who is God in human flesh, who loves you, who wants you. Listen. He lives, and He's been knocking at the door of your heart. 
I'm going to tell you right now, there's no question, especially now.